dessert today because what better location than this to show you these amazing dresses and how they could look with do-it-yourself corsages. I mean, could you just cry with how amazing this looks? Fabulous. Hello, delicious Glitter Pie people. My name is Tiffany Pratt, and I'm at Peach Berserk in Toronto to show you how to make your very own do-it-yourself corsage with my art studio in a box. So, inside this box, you're gonna find everything you're gonna need, including a faux flower, fabric, white glue, brushes, sequins, glitter, you name it, you make it, you wear it, it's fabulous. So, get a piece of scrap fabric, throw a little hole in the center, grab one of your faux flowers, it's gonna look something like this, Pop it in the center, glue it down, and go to town. It's so easy, it's so fun, it takes no time at all. And this is some type of accessory delight that, you know, otherwise you would spend lots of money and you would be bothering a florist. So this is something really fun for you to do and keep forever. So once you glue down your flower, go inside the box and find the scrap fabrics, the scrap paper, the feathers, and start gluing all around the circumference so that you have this this explosion around your wrist. I think it's so fabulous, don't you? Okay, optional, if you're 10 or over, you can use a hot glue gun. I won't use one just yet. So all you're gonna do is just go all over the fabric that you've glued your flower down on, and you're going to go crazy. Put everything inside. It doesn't need to look perfect, because I think the fact that it's a little bit of a mishmash is the fun part, and that's what makes it fly. So. Once you're done with that, put it down. You're also gonna find a piece of trim inside the box. What you're gonna do is then grab the same little, I also have given you yarn, tie those off on both sides. So it's super easy. All you have to do is find a little hole, weave it through so that you can tie it around your wrist. And you're done. So take this piece, poke the end of the flower through the back of the trim, glue it down. The trick with this corsage is that when you make something like this, think ahead. Think about this the night before because you want to let this thing have the night to dry. So I've glued another piece of fabric on top so that the nub is not driving your wrist crazy as you wear it. And now comes the fun part. Now you grab your white glue and you can just go hog wild on the flower, on the petals, on everything you've added. You know, don't forget, you can add lots of scrap fabric. Like, I'm not even adding enough, really. This is just, this isn't, this isn't enough. Let's keep adding more. Okay, so once you've added tons, you've got your white glue. The white glue I've provided you actually will dry with glitter on top, so it will look even more special and fabulous. Sprinkle all these fabulous homespun. I mixed this collection of sequins for you. Add more glue. That's right, we're having fun. Do you notice that I'm not really paying too much attention? because things change as they dry, so it doesn't really matter. Put your glitter on top, let this puppy dry. It's a morsel of fabulous. Lay it down in the morning, give it a little shake. You'll have something that looks a little something like this. Put it on, wear your garb that just turns heads, and you are ready to go to the prom. line is anything that you craft let it dry overnight leave it so in the morning you've got an armful of fabulous this corsage is just one of a million things you can make with glitter pie art studio in a box you can find this online at glitterpieart.com or you can find it in stores across canada so thank you so much happy crafting and enjoy yourself because that's what it's all about